This Gcam comparison and benchmark video should help you decide if you're looking to purchase the OnePlus Nord N200 TCL20SE or Samsung AO3S. The images on top are from Gcam ports on each device, and download links are in the description if you want to try these specific Gcam versions. The bottom images are from each phone's stock camera app. On other devices I've tested with Gcam ports, I've generally come to the conclusion that the stock camera is usually better. That's not the case with these phones. And when you get to night shots, you basically have to use Gcam to capture a decent image. In general, I like the TCL's pictures the best, with or without Gcam, but sometimes it's not as color accurate as the Nord N200 shots. Let me know in the comments which phone's pictures you like the best. How about benchmarks? Passmark doesn't get a lot of attention, so let's start there before moving on to other benchmarks like Geekbench, Antutu, and more. It runs a suite of tests covering the CPU, disk read and write speed, memory read and write speed, 2D graphics, and 3D graphics. And if you're wondering why the Poco F3 is in here, I just wanted to provide some type of comparison to an almost flagship device. The winner, of course, is the F3 with a score of 10,858 thanks to that Snapdragon 870 SoC and fast UFS 3.1 storage, as well as the LPDDR5 RAM. The N200 is second at 4,969. The TCL20 SE is third with 4,401. And the AO3 trails with a score of 3,187, likely due not just to its very low-end MediaTek Helio P35 SoC, but also the slow eMMC 5 one storage the device uses. We move on to Intutu next, which you're probably familiar with. It tests four categories, CPU, GPU, memory, and user experience. And if the camera test, benchmarks, and speed test are helpful to you, please give this video a like and consider subscribing if you want to see more content like this. Thank you for that. For Antutu, again the Poco F3 wins by a ridiculous margin at 653,816. The Nord N200 follows at 290,056. The 20SE comes next at 168,980. Lastly, the AO3S comes in with a weak 122,536. I'm surprised by how far off the scores for the 20SE and N200 are, considering the N200 has a Snapdragon 480 and the 20SE has a Snapdragon 460. Very similar SoCs, so I thought. But it looks like the N200's Adreno 619 GPU really smashes the Adreno 610 in the TCL. Plus, the 480 is a newer 8 nanometer chip with just overall better performance compared to the older 11 nanometer Snapdragon 460. We move on to 3D Marks slingshot extreme test, which is basically a gaming benchmark that pushes the CPU and GPU. And the Poco F3 basically beats the test, maxing out the score and not even giving us a number. The N200 is next at 2,407, TCL at 867, and again the AO3S trailing at 451. This test really displays just how weak the CPU and GPU are on the Galaxy AO3S. Its score is half of the already low TCL20 SE score. The Helio P35's Power VR GPU just falls way behind. Let's check out PC Mark's performance benchmark next. It measures everyday activities in five categories. Web browsing, video editing, writing, photo editing, and data manipulation. As you can guess, the Poco F3 wins with 12,013 points. The Nord at 6,602, 20SE at 5,680, and the AO3S at 5,064. As far as my daily use with each of these devices, I would say this is pretty accurate with all three budget devices clumped together. And the Poco F3 isn't actually twice as fast in everyday life, but it is noticeably faster. This next test is called cross-platform disk test, and it checks the I.O. speed of your storage and RAM. The F3 is fantastic with its LP DDR5 RAM and UFS 3.1 storage. The OnePlus and TCL phones are really much closer here than in other tests since they share the same UFS 2.1 storage and LP DDR4 X RAM. The TCL even beats the N200 in sequential read speed here, and the old eMMC storage in the AO3S really holds it back in this test, with some speeds clocking in at only a third of those from the N200 and the 20SE. Lastly for benchmarks, we have Geekbench, which gives you a single core score and a multi-core score for your CPU. And the Poco comes in with a single core score of 960 and a multi-core score of 3,303. The Nord N200 505 and 1,593 respectively. The TCL with 255 and 1,276. And the Samsung with a measly single core score of 180 and a still weak multi-core score of 934. I don't think the Samsung AO3S really performs as poorly as that score would indicate. And I actually 
don't think the TCL performs slowly either. If you're curious, the Nord wins in terms of battery drain after all these tests, with the battery going from 41% to 34% or losing 350 milliamps. The TCL was the next best, dropping from 60% to 52% or 400 milliamps. Then the F3 and AO3S nearly tied, with the F3 losing 497 milliamps and the AO3S 500 approximately. As far as temperatures, I used DevCheck to monitor between each test and the TCL reported strange CPU temps and the AO3S only reported battery temps. But besides that, the TCL wins with its SOC only gaining 8 degrees after all these tests. The Nord gained a hefty 17 degrees on the CPU and 11 on the SOC and the F3 got even hotter with its CPU adding 20 degrees and SOC 12. The battery temp on the AO3S added 14 degrees, so probably somewhere in line with the N200 and none of these phones were uncomfortably hot in the hand. To look just a bit further, check out these speed tests. The only surprising results are that the AO3S is the fastest to fully open the camera app. And by fully opening, I mean displaying all the on-screen elements. I'm guessing this just comes down to Samsung software optimization, and I think that's also why the AO3S doesn't fall quite so far behind in these speed tests as the benchmarks would have you believe. Samsung knows how to optimize software, and the AO3S is running a lighter version of One UI called One UI Core. Also, note that the N200 and 20SE are generally much closer in these speed tests than the benchmarks would have you believe. So which would I suggest to buy, since all these phones cost around 190 US dollars? Honestly, the experience of using these phones on a regular basis is pretty similar. Besides unlocking with the fingerprint scanners, which I found was quicker and more reliable on the TCL 20SE. So if you're a gamer and want that 90 hertz screen and better CPU and GPU performance, you should go with the OnePlus Nord N200. If you need the best camera and enjoy consuming a lot of videos on your device, I would suggest the TCL 20SE since it has that nice large 6.82 inch display. And yes, if you really want that Samsung software experience, then the Galaxy AO3S is not a bad device at all. Just don't expect to do a lot of intense gaming or get satisfying photos from its cameras. I have reviews just for the AO3S and TCL 20SE right here. Thanks for watching. And if you have any questions, please leave a comment and I will answer it perfectly.